Hey friends, it's me Wickedy, and today I'm going to be going over some balloon pops, which is going to be so fun. But real quick, if you have not checked out my five star 500 hour boardwalk island tour, I have linked the video down below. I definitely recommend you checking it out. Lots of cool stuff added in here. So I've been taking little clips of my balloon pop since bunny day and don't worry, none of those are included in this video because let's be real, none of us want to go through that again. Well, uh, until next year anyways. So as some of you have probably already noticed, yellow balloons tend to give you more bells and blue can give you items such as like this gold nugget here that you can use for crafting. The red and green balloons are a little bit more of the wild card of the group, but I'm not gonna be going over any building materials or bells in this popping video. We're only going over DIYs, furniture, and clothing items. So without further ado, let's get to popping and unboxing. 99 balloons in Animal Crossing, each with a unique item. So I found the yellow balloons the most frequently. I feel like they're the most common and you tend to find bags of bells inside. When I didn't get a bag of bells, I ended up getting two DIY recipes, 12 furniture items and seven clothing pieces, totaling 21 yellow balloons. The two DIY recipes that I got inside of yellow balloons, first one would be the bamboo shoot lamp. And this is what it looks like after you craft it. The other one I found was the green leaf pile, which I really love this one. And this is what this one looks like. On to the furniture item. The first one I got was a Papa Panda doll, which is just a big pink doll. Keep it in my prize booth at the boardwalk. Next up, I ended up getting a barbecue. This one is uh, the white one. A digital scale. A uh, pretty nice diner sofa in uh, the red variation of it. A hose reel. I was actually pretty happy to find this one. I got a mic stand. This balloon ended up giving me the blue variation of the throwback mitt chair. Now earlier I got the Papa Panda, but this time we got the Papa Bear, a large pink checkered one. Next up, we have a pet food bowl. This one is the pink variation. What do we have here? Oh, it's a picnic basket. <laughs> oh, and I actually had a friend looking for this exact item. It is the tatami bed. Last furniture item I got from a yellow balloon is the water cooler. On to yellow balloon clothing item drops. The first one I got is actually the dotted raincoat. This one's pretty cute. Next up we have the imp hood. This is the black one, but to me, it, it looks more purple. And next up, we have a pacifier in orange. Honestly, I can't see myself ever really using this, so I gave it away. Now, I already own this next piece in red and purple. It's the red power skirt suit in light blue. 
This next piece I found, I didn't really feel was all that exciting, but I can see myself like dressing up to go yachting or something in this striped shirt. Now for if I'm feeling a little bit fancy, I found the waistcoat in white with a yellow tie. Really like this one. And the last item from the yellow balloons that I've been trucking is the Zap Helmet in bright yellow. Okay, on to the blue balloons, which have a pretty good chance of giving you some building materials. I popped two DIY recipes, 13 furniture items, and again, seven clothing pieces for a total of 22 blue balloons. The first DIY from a blue present is the Bamboo Grove wall. You'll see this wallpaper in quite a few um, of the different villagers' houses as well. And next up we have the basket pack, which is a backpack that you can craft and equip. You know, I don't hate it. All right, first furniture item up is the Brine Shrimp Aquarium. The next pop balloon gave us the Green Bear Baby Chair. I am a clock collector in this game, and so I was really happy to get this cuckoo clock in green. I know exactly who to give this next one to. I have the cute tea table in the darker blue. Looks like it might be time to learn a new skill. This drop was the DJ's turntable. So who needs ironwood furniture when you could just get furniture falling from the sky? I ended up getting the double sofa in blue. So I've gotten this item from a balloon drop before I started doing all the recording. It is the Imperial Bed. It's actually worth quite a bit. Next up we have the Kimono Stand in the checkered pattern. Someday I'll get that elaborate one, I tell ya. And a perfect addition to my boardwalk, I ended up getting a life ring in orange, which is different than the ones that I had. This next piece is a wall decoration. It is the tapestry in snow. And another item and pattern I was looking for, the traditional tea set with the goldfish painting. I don't know why the balloons think that I need another variation of this item, but I have a another toilet. <laughs> we have the throwback wrestling figure in black. It's a cute bubble head. I like to keep it at my prize booth on the boardwalk. Okay, on to the clothing. We have the apron in blue. Super cute. If you feel like doing your barista thing. The vivid leggings in a very bright vivid yellow for my dodo cosplay. A long down coat in green for those chilly chilly days and get my ski bum on. Next up, a sailor skirt in brown. I'd prefer either blue, black, or white for this, but this will do okay for now. And we have the tropical hat in pink. I'm surprised I actually like this. It's not my usual style. Perfect for a summer day. The bohemian tunic dress in green. It's super simple and classic and I love it. And the last blue balloon item is the workout top in bright lime. All right, we are moving on to the red balloons. 
didn't pop 99 of these, just 23 with two DIY items, six clothing items, and 15 furniture items. A lot of people believe that this one tends to give you more furniture than anything else, but I feel that's true with all the balloons. First red balloon DIY is the bamboo doll. Uh, at first I thought this was kind of creepy, but after a while it started to grow on me, so I use it in the mini golf course. The other DIY, another bamboo item, I've actually gotten this recipe a ton now, is the bamboo wand. It's used for making a, a quick wardrobe change. First red balloon furniture drop is the bottled ship. This one is the pirate ship inside. Next up, a great customizable item, the cushion. This one is in just plain white. How they got this item to fit in this little present flying on a balloon above head is beyond me, but it is the dark blue cute sofa. Oh, and this is actually the second time I've gotten a diner neon sign from a balloon drop, but this one is purple. Dropping from this present is an exercise ball that comes in pink. And keeping with the sports theme, this one has a football. This one fell on my head. Uh, I don't know if I would survive. It's a deep freezer. The balloon fairies must have known that my caffeine levels were low. I got a mug. I really like this item. It is the Newton's Cradle. It's really fun to just stare at for a little while. Here we have a just plain white wall mounted phone. This must be a delivery for the Able Sisters. It's a sewing project in blue. I think the balloons are telling me that I need to work on my kitchen because I got a revolving spice rack. And because sometimes you just gotta go, I guess, <laughs> we got a tankless toilet to go with all my other ones, I guess. And the last red balloon furniture drop is a volleyball. I dropped this right here and honestly, I haven't moved it. All right, moving on to the red drop clothing items. The first one is the blossom tee. Looking very bright and cheery. The bunny hood in white. I gave this away as a gift to someone for their thin cosplay. And for looking a little bit more like Daisy May, <laughs> the nose drip. And for when I feel like showing everyone that I am a fan of grunge rock, it's the hip wrap shirt. I tend to like to wear pretty basic clothes, so finding the knit hat was a big plus for me. These pants, I'm not the biggest fan of the satin pants. I just sold them right away to the Nick Brothers. And the last red balloon pop I have is the top hat in red. I absolutely love this one. Ringleader maybe, yeah. And now on to the last, the green balloons. I actually got these recorded the most because apart from the bells from the yellow balloons or the building supplies from the blue balloons, these ones showed up the most for me. Not even one DIY recipe, 20 furniture items, and 13 clothing pieces for a total of 33 green balloons. Up first, we have the box corner sofa in a uh, mustard yellow. Uh, I'll pass. Next up, I have a painting set which also came in yellow. Just a little easier to look at though. I was pretty happy to find this drop. It's really classy looking, the poolside bed in dark brown. And this was perfect for my boardwalk, a popcorn machine in pink. Uh, 
on a lovely rainy day, got the very large basketball hoop. If you got nothing better to do on a chilly night, cuddle up with a book from your brand new book stand. <laughs> I ended up getting a nice variation of the clothesline pole, which is perfect for my little neighborhood. Now this is an item that I know is pretty well sought after. It is the cute bed in white and yellow. And this is my second time getting it, but it's a different color this time, the hourglass. If I ever feel like having like a den or a man cave, we got the mounted blue marlin. This balloon held the pro tape recorder. It actually spins if you activate it too. I have so much furniture like this and this one is going to be in light brown. Sally's doing some stretches because she knows what's in this balloon. It is the red corner. <laughs> it is giant. Oh my goodness. This present holds the school chair in gray and blue. And this one has an old sewing machine, which is going to be perfect when I set up my crafting room. Another present needed for our stage, the silver mic. And this is actually the third one of this that I've got, always in different colors, the throwback skull radio, this time in black. Who doesn't love a nice cozy snow globe? And it even snows. And we have the ever popular soft serve lamp in green tea. Ah, oh, great flavor. And I am happy to have this lamp. Okay, funny story about this balloon. I actually found it on stream and I was so excited. I thought that it was a Nintendo Switch. <laughs> Not a light switch, but it's a light switch. I doubt they'll ever let me live that down. All right, and lastly, the clothing items from Green Balloons. The first item I open is the bowler hat with a ribbon in pink. We also have the bunny ears. Unlike the bunny hood, this one fits with a few more outfits. Uh, yeah, I like this one a lot. It's one of my wand outfits. The brown variation of the chef outfit is from this balloon here. I do still like the blue one better, but it's still pretty cute. Alright, green balloon, what do you have for me? The detective hat, which is perfect because I have the outfit in everything already. A nice bright green garden tank. And this balloon gave me a giant ribbon in uh, orange. Not my favorite though. It is the season for graduation, so it just makes sense that we got the graduation gown. Ooh, I love this one. It's the ninja costume for when I feel like being sneaky. And a privacy mask in black for when I feel like playing Dr. Nurse. I got a retro A-line dress in blue, super groovy. And a really nice sailor's tee. Ahoy there. Uh, this outfit's interesting. It is the suit with a stand-up collar. <laughs> I don't mind it. And lastly, the tweed frilly skirt in brown. 
Well, friends, that's what I got from popping 99 balloons. I've definitely popped so much more than that, but I got tired of recording them all. And I have found some pretty fun and crazy stuff. Um, some of the things I have noticed for the DIYs, they tend to only be the seasonal DIYs, at least from what I've found. And just depending on what's going on in the season, we have young spring bamboo in the area that I'm at. So it makes sense that I got those as DIYs. And sometimes the balloons will give you something that you already have, but it is very rare, at least from the experiences that I've had. If I get something that I've already gathered, it's usually in a different color, which I find pretty cool. I think that's really nice mechanic that they have set up so that we can always be getting new, fun, exciting, and different things. So what is the most exciting item that you have found out of the balloon drops in Animal Crossing? I have a lot of really fun, cool things that I like that have come from it, but I want to know what you think. Let me know down in the comments below. Thanks for checking out this balloon poppin video. I hope you enjoyed yourself. I had a lot of fun making it. If you're not subscribed already, what are you waiting for? We have a lot of fun on this channel. I play a lot of fun different games and hopefully um, you've been enjoying it as well. I'm Wickedy. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and I will see you in the next one.